In this video, I'll show you seven powerful Premiere Pro tricks every editor should know. Let's get started. Premiere Pro trick number one. So you've got this cool text layer on your video, but it's a bit hard to read. Let me show you a simple yet powerful trick to fix that. Go to the effects panel and search for the Gaussian blur effect. Drag it onto your original video clip. With the clip selected, head over to effect controls and increase the blurriness value. Next, click the rectangle mask button. This will create a blurry rectangular area on your video. Click and drag the mask points to adjust the size. Hold shift while dragging to constrain movement to one axis. Expand the mask until it forms a soft blurred box behind your text. To give it a clean, glass-like look, reduce the mask feather value. And there you go, a stylish blur background that makes your text pop. Now to animate like this, go to the effects panel, search for crop, and drag it onto your text layer. Then in effect controls, crop the text as needed. Next, search for the transform effect and apply it to the same text layer. In effect controls, make sure the crop effect is placed above the transform effect. Create a position keyframe at the start, then move the text downward. Move forward six to seven frames and adjust the position to bring the text up and reveal it. And just like that, you've created a smooth and professional looking text animation. Trick number two, we have audio waveform. When you adjust volume levels using keyframes, the audio waveform updates in real time to reflect those changes. I'll just hold the key, Add a few keyframes and there you go, the waveform reacts instantly. It's a small detail, but incredibly helpful for anyone working closely with audio. Trick number three, animated color background behind your text or shapes. Go to the project panel, right click and choose new item, then select black video, drag it onto your timeline. Now in the effects panel, search for four color gradient and drag it onto the black video. Next, go to the effect controls and change the four colors to your liking. I've chosen these four colors as an example, then create position and color keyframes at the beginning. Move 10 frames forward and change the positions of the colors. Move further ahead again and adjust the positions once more. You can also change the colors here to suit your style. Now select all the keyframes, hold Alt, and drag them to duplicate. Repeat this step to extend the animation across the entire video. You can also adjust the blend and opacity settings as desired. This creates a smooth and vibrant animated color background that looks great behind text or shapes. Trick number four, fade audio without using keyframes. This feature allows you to smoothly fade audio in and out directly on the timeline. No need to manually add keyframes or apply effects. Just hover your mouse over the top corners of a clip in the timeline. You'll see small fade handles appear. Click and drag inward to create a smooth fade in or fade out. This makes quick audio transitions super easy, especially for beginners or when you're editing fast. Trick number five, let me show you something special about Vato Elements. It provides an extensive collection of high quality templates and video assets for every major editing software. With just one subscription, you'll unlock unlimited downloads of templates, ranging from transitions and openers to promos, titles, and much more. And Vato Elements also provides a wide range of software for selecting templates. You'll also gain access to stock footage, music, sound effects, graphics, and other creative resources. Just download the template you like, drag and drop it into your project, and you're good to go. Save your time, effort, and money. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to start your seven day free trial of Envato Elements today. Trick number six, auto tone in Lumetri Color. You need just to open the Lumetri Color panel, Go to the basic correction section and click the auto button and bang, auto tone automatically enhances the colors of your video. No need to tweak settings manually. Trick number seven, animated grid background. Once you've built it, you can customize the colors and reuse it across multiple projects with ease. First, go to your project panel and click on new item to create a color mat. Choose a dark gray color, then drag the color mat into the timeline. Next, go to the effects panel and search for grid. Apply the grid effect to the color mat. Now head to the effect controls panel and change the size setting from corner point to width slider. Increase the width to around 255 or adjust based on your preference. Set the blend mode to overlay and reduce the opacity to your liking. Now search for ramp in the effects and apply it to the same color mat. Make sure the ramp shape is set to linear ramp and increase blend with original to around 90 or 100, depending on your taste. If you want to change the white color to another shade, go ahead and do it. Let's switch it to red, for example. You can also adjust the ramp's position to create a different style. Play around with the blend with original value for more refined results. 
Once that's done, go back to the Effects tab and search for Noise. Apply the Noise effect to the color mat and in the Effect Controls, increase the noise amount to around 4 or 5. You can disable the Use Color Noise option if you prefer a cleaner look. That's your final background. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials just like this one.